Well, hello folks. Hello YouTube. This, I believe, is going to be phase four of mounting a 15 horsepower Mercury Pro Kicker on the back of my charter boat, the Jetty Wolf. So this is Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel, Jacksonville, Florida, and thanks for stopping by. The whole purpose, if you've missed the first, second, or third uh, phase of this entire project, all the links will always be below in the video description, if not a pinned comment also. A pinned comment is where I make a comment below my own video, and it stays sort of at the top, I believe. But the whole reason that I'm doing all of these stages to mount this Mercury Pro Kicker on the transom of my uh, boat, which is a 26-foot aluminum boat with a swim platform, the reason I'm doing it is for the sheer fact that I could not find extremely detailed information on YouTube. You know, you can find all you want to know about a pro kicker from Mercury, a 9.9, .9, mostly because Mercury has them on the back of every walleye dude, musky dude. I mean, it's ridiculous. And those videos are like 30 seconds to two minutes, maybe. And they don't show you anything. It's all about sales. So what I want is to be able to kind of document everything that I'm doing to help you because I couldn't find it. So I'm standing here in the wolf den, which is the office room. I name it the wolf den. And I got the whiteboard here where I've been marking down deliveries and things that I want to do. It is 7.54 on 3.13, March 13th, 2019. And I have the, the 15, I'm using 15, not 9.9, .9, a 15 Merc Pro Kicker, extra long shaft. I have that. I had delivered the bracket. I'm using a uh, Panther swim platform aluminum bracket to mount the engine on. And I also received a tiller extension. And I've shown that in the prior. I'll show you the bracket today. Today's video is most likely going to be nothing more than getting the bracket on the swim platform and figuring that out. I've already been outside. I've already checked it out. And there's some things that I'm not really understanding because there's bracketry, but then you got to mount the engine on the bracket and the bracketry for some reason seems to be in the way. None of this is steadfast. If something does not work, it is going back and I will get the correct item. I'm not in a monster hurry. I'm gonna either do this right or not do it. So let's go over here to the whiteboard and I'm gonna show you a little bit of what's been going on and the to-do to list, all right? So, let me get out of the way here. Well, I can't get out of the way, but up here, we ordered the Merc, that came on 3.7, ordered the Tiller, that came on 3.7, and the Bracket, I ordered on 3.7, and it was delivered by UPS, the tiller came on 3.8, ordered 
the bracket came yesterday. Got the Merc delivered by FedEx. That was a superior transaction. FedEx truck pulled right up in front of my house and we unloaded the engine onto a hand cart. You can see that in the last video, which was Phase 3 Merc 15 Pro Kicker. Okay, so now I'm at this point. I got a little bit of a to-do list here. If nothing else that I'm going to show you today is do nothing more than mount bracket on the transom. If I just get that done, I'll be happy. I got a four passenger charter tomorrow. Then I've got two charters on Saturday. So all I'm doing is getting a day here, then a day here, then a day here, and I'm not getting to just power through this. It's spring break time in Jacksonville, Florida. Next in line would be mount motor on the bracket. All right. And then after that, make holes for the fuel and the power connections and doing the, those connections. What kind of holes, where am I putting them to come through into my little false transom space where all my rigging is? Then after that, you can see actually breaking in the motor, which is extremely important, breaking into all engines, all outboards, very important. Then possibly the next phase to this would be a possible shifter throttle, mounting that up in the boat so I can connect the engine this is actually should be subpart B here also connect engine uh, the big engine my Suzuki 250 to the Merc 15 with connecting rod they're readily available you can order them right on Amazon same people who make the bracket make an adjustable so when I turn the big engine I turn the 15 kicker but in the future here, and I don't know exactly, but this is on the possible list, is adding a shifter throttle up by the console, on the console, near the console, so I don't have to run on a tiller of any sort. So that might be something that will be in the future. But today... If nothing else, mount the bracket on the transom. And my helper dad is coming over, and we're going to go through that. All right, well, what I did so far before my helper got even got here, this is where my, my ladder was mounted, right here. So I took the mat... Uh, the ladder off and here is just a big piece of the Panther by Marine Tech bracketry and what this will be doing is going on here like that and then out here is a separate piece let me get that then there's this block that you actually bolt the engine to and that goes out here for the engine mount and is sort of tiltable I guess you could say I don't know but Thank God I got a lift and I can swing the engine over here and do all kinds of stuff like that. But that's what we're talking about initially, right now, out here on the transom. Thank you. 
long time coming and what we're doing is I'm just mounting the bracket right now. Uh, $17 worth of hardware that we didn't have. It's taken all day. Well, we did stop for lunch and we had some chicken. To do this right, you gotta mock up everything. And I mean, we brought the engine over because you only wanna really screw this up just once. So now, I'm drilling the holes to mount the bracket to the boat. And I'm doing it with my new Makita that I got for my birthday from Pops here. <laughs> or I would have been out here with the big ass drill. And we're test fitting bigger bolts than what I think They want you to use, but I want to use bigger bolts. Still not big enough. That's the story. It's almost three o'clock in the afternoon. And I was out here at six o'clock in the dark, of course. I should probably be doing this with the big drill. I got a big drill, a real big drill, a two-handed drill. But we want these to be nice and tight too, but not a whole lot of wobble in them. So I'm using one of these stupid things. We'll be back with the next procedure. Okay, I think we're actually bolting this bracket on. And what we ended up doing is not having washers. I wanted washers on top just because. I put a uh, piece of uh, aluminum bar stock as a washer going down for all three of these. And they only said about using minimum, of, you know, use four bolts. Well, I'm using six. So we have to, now we're tightening up underneath. We're using nylon nut lock nuts. And they turned out, with all my strapping and all that, that they're just long enough, these bolts. I mean, this is actually a big deal. All right, so let's do it again. Or do you want to go to this side, this side, this side, this side, this side? I think that's the way we should do it. See these here? are these little bite in these got little spikes on the other end so they bite into the plastic into a hole like that and you actually have to go in here and get them to start biting because all we're doing is mocking this sort of up because I got a charter tomorrow. It's spring break. And I do not get, this is the absolute wrong time. This is the absolute wrong time to be doing this entire project. For the sheer fact that I don't get any days in a row. I should have done this in the middle of February while it was blowing 25 knots. And now, you see how sunny it is? Now everybody's thinking fishing, finally. Such a, low, a slow process here. I'm just mocking this up, basically getting it all sitting here. I got the angle matching the transom over here. All done with the bracket on the back of the boat. There it is. I set it up. I do not know if this is right. But I basically set it up on the settings, is this is adjustable, so it's on the same angle as the main transom for the Suzuki. And what you have, this is the swim platform Panther by uh, Marine Tech, four-stroke swim, pla swim platform bracket 
five five zero zero three zero. That's the model number of this. Let me get a shot of it here for you. Okay. This is how you adjust it. You got bolt, 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 and then you got hole here, hole here, hole here, hole here, hole, hole here, or hole here. And this entire thing will move out and down. So, there you go. I got it um, bolted on six ways. Okay, here it is. There's the back of my boat. There's the transom. And then I got the plat, plat, uh, swim platform bracket right next to it to give you some perspective here. And I used six big bolts. Okay, with big fender washers. And then, um, like I said, you adjust it with these three bolts on each side. One, two, three. All right, then it has sort of a unique feature that I don't know if many people will be using this model. But it also has a support right here that goes down. And here I drilled and tapped into this plate here. So now there you go. This thing is not budging. And I'm getting ready to hopefully mount the Mercury extra long 15 horsepower kicker. And then I need to bring in the power and the fuel. And I mark two spots right here in my transom, my false sort of transom. There you go, finished product.